Uh, let, let's talk abstract here for a second, because Nick fans are, are banking their, their next 10 years, the fact that KD's going to leave Golden State and end up with the Knicks. Let, let's just dream that a little bit. <clears throat> this is a guy who got so upset with an Oklahoma newspaper that they actually had to change what they wrote, their, their, their opinion piece about him. Then he, he, he could have, as you said, quelled everything after the game yesterday and didn't because he was still hurting. How would this guy deal with the Daily News, the New York Post, 9870 ESPN, and FAN? How would he do it in New York? You know, and I've thought about this a lot. I've talked with people around a lot, and, and I think having, you know, be, having been around the city for a while and, and, and having a sense of it, and I think the fan base, what would be very different for Kevin Durant if he came to New York? Different than Golden, excuse me, different than Oklahoma City, different than Golden State, is that he's never taken heat from fans in those places. Like, he went to Golden State, and he took a lot of heat around the league. You know, you were a front runner. You gravy trained on to uh, the Warriors. All the criticism that he knew would come, and yet was – and then they won the championship, and he was going back at fans, and uh, instead of reveling that summer, you could tell he was um, – uh, uh, he, he was internalizing it. And you guys know better than anybody, when you come to New York, and even, listen, he'd be seen as a savior initially. And let's say the first year he gets you to the playoffs, or, or he doesn't get you to the playoffs. But there'd be a point where people are, they're going to want more than you were able to deliver. It may be even more than you're capable of delivering yourself. And you're going to have your own fans be very hard on you um, at different times. You know, there'll be a playoff series where, you know, you don't play great in game six and you lose and you are going to get crushed for days and weeks or maybe all the way into the summer. He's never had that. And we've seen, listen, he's admittedly very sensitive. And I do think the fit in New York would be, and some people have debated me and said, no, New York would just be so thrilled to have a player of his caliber choose them. And they would initially, but you know how it would get after a while. Of course, because the expectation would be to win. And the second they didn't win, there wouldn't be that LeBron moment in Miami where the kid on the sidelines is like, nice try, good luck. You know, that doesn't happen in New York. It'll instantly be his fault. It would. And, and so as long as you understand that, and, and so I think those are all things he'd have to take into consideration. Uh, you know, I think New York... You know, if you look at recent history in the NBA and you look at a player of his caliber and you say, who's the guy who's, who's gone to it left winning and chosen a team who's in the state the Knicks are, and you could say, hey, there's some things to look forward to. You hope Chris Porzingis comes back and he's himself again. You hope Kevin Knox develops. Um, all those things that they're hoping for. But the reality is it's, 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 it's a bad team right now. And... Um, that it's still a pretty big leap of faith for a player who is it, especially with KD, who's in the, you know, this is the pinnacle of his career. He's, I'm not saying he's headed for his downside. He's still young enough. He's, I think he's got you know, multiple years still at the highest level. But his next decision, you know, it's, it's, well, it's as important as the last one, I guess. But um, it's still a difficult proposition to pick. New York and leave the winning in Golden State and, and, and be able to explain it. That doesn't mean it won't happen, but it's still an uphill fight for the Knicks uh, to be able to get a player of his caliber this early in the Scott Perry, you know, David Fisdale regime.